What's up guys, we're back with another video and today we're doing a, a space video and we have even got the solar system. Let me show you the planets. Well, first off we've got a star, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, us aka Earth, Mars, and it was the only thing I could find for Jupiter, so, yep. We have got Saturn, your anus, but the planet, not my butt. And then we've got Neptune. And that's the entire solar system. But we're not ending there. We've still got loads of things to go through. So, so, stay tuned. Eh? Okay, so first off, we're going to go with what would happen if a super strong asteroid hit Earth and what would the Earth react like. So, let me just go ahead and grab the asteroid. Okay, so... I've got the asteroid, it's a kite, because I've got it from a kite festival. Okay, so, here's Earth, here's the asteroid. <sighs> okay, so the asteroid has hit Earth, and, okay, so, there is a possibility of it shooting out of orbit, but, the chances of that is very slim. So we're just gonna see. So we're gonna find out what would what what would it look like if that did happen. So asteroid. Okay. So it's flying towards the sun. The Earth will become a flaming ball of plasma lava just pretend that okay okay now we're all happy um, <laughs> okay so now now we are going to find out wait oh one minute i thought it was cloudy out here but I mean, I thought it was sunny out here, but it's actually cloudy. <sighs> okay. So, we don't need this asteroid. Now, we're going to see how long it would take if a little rocket was flying to, like, for example... Neptune. Let me go ahead and grab the little rocket. Okay, I got the rocket. Now, we're gonna start it over from where I live. No, it's not America. I do not live in America. So, I am right here. England. So... That was my dad, something's gone wrong with my dog. Okay, let's just forget about that, that I ever said that, okay? Let's just forget about that. Okay, okay, okay. We are all happy now. Okay, anyways, back to the chase. The rocket comes flying off, and then we fly straight to... Neptune, one minute, oh my fingers. Now we're talking about travelling at the speed of light. If we was travelling at the speed of light, it would take... If we was travelling at the speed of light, it would take about... Um, what do you say? 
Uh, what do you say? Um, I'd say about three days. Agreed? Agreed. Okay. <laughs> now, if I was travelling at, at speed days, it would, it would take about... It would take about... Oh, it would take about... <coughs> My brain is off, okay. If it was travelling at light days, it would take about... It would take six days, and then, if it was light hours, it would take 12 days, and now, if it was travelling at speed minutes, it would take 24 days. Okay. Okay. We're all agreed. And now we're gonna start back at Earth. Now let's travel to Mars. Mars is not that far away. So, so we're starting at England. Then Mars is the. We're always traveling at speed. Yeah, it, we're always traveling at light years. So yeah, we would be that fast. Okay, now we're just gonna do a loop around the Earth. And trust me, if we're traveling at light years, then this is gonna be super fast, faster than that. Then I do this. Okay, three, two, one. I've done it as fast as I can, okay? It would take, it would be faster, but it's as fast as I could do it. Okay, next subject. Um. Okay, let's go back to the asteroids it, it, hitting planets at the sun. Okay, so let's do um Venus. Okay, so, mayday, mayday, the asteroid's coming. <sighs> the asteroid has hit Venus. We fly off straight <sighs> in a matter of seconds. Okay, now Mercury. We're doing Mercury. Ah, uh, mayday, mayday, the asteroid's coming. In a matter of about three seconds, if not two, if not one. Okay, okay. So now we are going to do Mars right over. We're going to do Mars right over there. Right over there, man, right there. Okay, now. So, ah, matey, matey, the asteroid is coming. It will take about half a minute. Okay, now we're going out of the Kuiper Belt. Okay, so let's put Mars right back in its orbit. Okay, so let's travel over to um, Jupiter. Jupiter is right here. Okay, so asteroid hits three, two, one. About an hour and a half. Because remember, it has to go through the Kuiper Belt. And it has to travel through the planet to the sun. Okay. 
Jupiter's back in its orbit. Now let's travel. Let's travel over to Saturn right there. Okay. I put Saturn as a ring for a reason. And that reason is because we all know Saturn's famous rings that will go in 100 million years. Thankfully, I will not be there by then. So I get to experience the entire of Saturn's ring. <laughs> okay, I've lost it now. So, here's the asteroid, 3, 2, 1, hits Saturn, travels through the Kuiper Belt, beep, boop, into the sun. Now, that would take about, it would take about, um, A day or two, because it's far away. Oh, I'm still in this mode. It's far away from the sun, and it has to travel through the Kuiper belt, which is invisible. Okay, now traveling over to. Now travel to your anus, which is a Nintendo Joy Con. Okay. I've got to be careful with the thing. Mm. Hits your anus. <sighs> Flies off straight into the sun. Okay. That would be about... It would take about five days. Because the same reasons is very far away from... Oh, it's very far away from the sun. And it has to travel through the invisible hyper belt. I should have thought of that. Okay, now traveling over to the furthest planet away from the sun, Neptune. Okay. Three, two, one. It's Neptune. Man, this is taking long in real life. Straight into the sun. Okay, now. Now, that would take about a week or eight days. Because of the same reasons. It's the furthest away from the sun and it has to travel through once again the invisible Kuiper belt. Okay, now we're gonna do the planet's orbits. Okay, let me just put the asteroid away and then we'll continue. Okay, so starting off with Mercury. Not far away from the sun at all. Okay, so let me just do an entire lap. There, not a problem. And now Venus. Okay, so it's travelling. Now we have to walk for this one because unlike Mercury, it's a bit far away from the sun. Eh. 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 Mm. Really, I don't really care where the planets are, unless, unless it's further away 
from the um from the closer planet to the sun okay so now us home <laughs> okay now this one is gonna be tough because it's a globe and globes are trust me heavy oh i want my country to always be facing the sun because it's not night it's not even that way oh i can't climb but i swear it's literally like it's literally only like it's literally only like six six o'clock right now okay we're almost done we're still facing the sun and we're done let me get the cable there and now mars right over there okay Right far away from the sun. This is a crystal that I'm using as Mars. And yes, I do have Heme tea and I should have used that. That is a Heme tea. That's the Heme tea. That is from that. Wait, where is it? Eh. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out one. That is from that. Okay, regular now. Okay, anyways, proceed. Let's carry on. Okay, it's only about a quarter of a way. Man, this is far, man. Now that is far. We're travelling really fast. Okay, we've done a lap. Now over to Jupiter. ASMR bro, literally ASMR. Fast <laughs> Mars. Wait. Oh, my back is hurting. Okay, now the ring, the most beautiful planet. I was just about to call it Neptune, but I remembered it's Saturn. They've actually got a bit in common. They've both got mm, um, similar names of moons, Titan and Triton. They're both beautiful. Hmm. Let's carry on, shall we? I was making, I was make, I was making a plain sound. Wrong with me. Uh, this video has been on for almost twenty minutes. I don't care, I'm just levitating it now. Because it's taking too long and my back is hurting. Uh, oh. mm. Almost done. Got Nintendo Joy-Con. 
aka your anus. Okay. <clears throat> oh, one thing to mention, please do not demonetize me or copyright me. Well, I haven't been doing any copyright, but please do not demonetize me because it's jokes about your about it's jokes your anus yeah yeah yep nebula okay we've done the lap now what's planet okay levitate levitate neptune's using mods right now Okay, back in its place. Now we're going to do the planets and how far away it is from the sun. Okay, starting off with Mercury. Okay, that is, to be honest, a bit far, you know, over to Venus. The uh, and the uh, and the uh, okay over to us. I am lay down right now, guys. I am lay down right now. My back is killing me. It is absolutely hurting me. Okay. Now we've got Earth. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and tap. Far man, far. <coughs> okay. Uh, uh. I cannot. I'm too close to the chairman. gonna have to do that okay now over to Jupiter okay please do not be in a tight um, area again because this is dead close is that okay my plan works now what is far uh, camera's all sturdy Okay, another tight spot, man. Why did I have to choose most of these in a tight spot? <sighs> My God, now that is far. Right over there, man. I can't even get my hand in the video. Right there. I mean, that is far. But it's still getting further. Okay, I have to move your anus right now. Now that is far. Right there. Right there. And then there. Okay, and then got the last one. Neptune. Now far, we're talking miles and miles. Okay. The entire solar system. We're gonna wrap it up there, guys. Hopefully you guys liked and subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Me and the solar system out. Bye.